Well, good day, everyone, and may the peace of Christ be with all of you today and this entire week. In our gospel, Mary and Joseph take Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. It was written in the law of the Lord that every firstborn son was to be consecrated to God. In Jerusalem, there was a man named Simeon. He was a holy man, a righteous man. Simeon had received a revelation from the Holy Spirit earlier in his life that he would not die until he had seen the Christ of the Lord. On the day when Joseph and Mary came to the temple with their newborn son, Simeon saw them. He immediately went to them and took Jesus in his arms. And then he blessed God saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your prophecy has been fulfilled. Of course, then Simeon turned to Mary and Joseph and also blessed them. He prophesied to Mary that Jesus was destined to do great deeds. Then he added that a sword would pierce her heart so that the thoughts of many would be revealed. This is another day in the life of Jesus' parents, the hope and the joy of their son being the chosen one, peppered with the worry and the anxiety of what else was to come. Nothing had been normal in their lives since the angel had appeared to Mary. It all must have been surreal for both of them. And yet, they continued to trust God. They believed that the God who had brought them this far would continue to grace and strengthen them in the months and the years ahead. Today, in the fifth day of the octave of Christmas, as we close out 2020, we can reflect on this same abnormal of life. This year, we've all experienced situations and circumstances that stretched us far more than we would have liked. Take in a moment and remember those times. It may have been related to COVID. It may have been a conflict within the family. It could have been financial difficulties or the loss of a job. These times are painful and the challenges that follow often create a great deal of anxiety. We do not know what lies ahead of us, nor do we know how the situation will be resolved. What the scripture is telling us today is to trust in the Lord, to trust in God like Simeon did and like Mary and Joseph did. Ask them all to pray for you. Ask them to intercede to God for you. These saints knew how to trust in God and he will not fail you. Ask those saints to walk with you on whatever journey you're on. And I know they will be faithful companions. St. Anthony the Hermit, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.